Good day, learners! Welcome to Arts 9, about the neoclassical sculptures and sculptors. Our objectives for today's lesson are 1. Identifies neoclassical sculptors and the distinct characteristics of their famous artworks. 2. Illustrates an artwork applying the elements and principles following the art style from the neoclassicism. And 3. Expresses the significant values of different art styles of the representative artists from the neoclassicism. Let's start this with the pretest. In this activity, you have to identify the title of sculptures shown in each slide. 1. What do you call this artwork? 2. Very good! This artwork is called Psych Awakened by Cupid's Kiss. 2. What do you call this artwork? Good job! This artwork is called Christ. 3. What do you call this artwork? That's correct! This artwork is called Washington. Next, 4. What do you call this artwork? Wow! That's right! This artwork is called Lion of Lucerne. Now, let's have a review on our previous lesson. In this activity, you have to read the following statements, write true if the statement is correct, and false if the statement is untrue. 1. The word neoclassic came from the Greek word neos, meaning new, and the Latin word classicus, true or false. The correct answer is true. 2. Jacques-Louis David is a renowned French artist whose paintings were into nudes, portraits, and mythological creatures. True or false? The correct answer is false. 3. Napoleon Crossing the Alps is an artwork of Jacques-Louis David. True or false? The correct answer is true. 4. Jean August Dominic Ingres was a student of J. David. True or false? The correct answer is true. 5. Jack Louis David was regarded as one of the finest old masters of his era. True or false? The correct answer is false. Now, let's start our lesson about neoclassical sculpture. The neoclassical period was one of the greatest ages of public sculptures. Artists looked to Roman styles during the time of Alexander the Great for inspiration as well as to mimic their styles. Neoclassical sculptures assumed life-size to monumental scale and focused on themes of heroism, patriotism, and virtue. The subject of neoclassical sculptures ranged from mythological figures to heroes of the past to major contemporary personages. Now, let's discuss some of the famous neoclassical sculptors. First, let's get to know Antonio Canova. Canova was a prolific Italian artist and sculptor who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. He opened the idea for portraying discrete sexual pleasures by using pure contours with his mythological compositions. Here is an example of Canova's famous artwork named as Psych Awakened by Cupid's Kiss. This is a marvel sculpture portraying the relationship between Psyche and Cupid. Another famous artwork by Antonio Canova is called Washington. Here is the marble sculpture of Washington currently displayed at North Carolina Museum of History. Now, let's get to know Bertel 
Thorvaldsen and his famous artworks. Thorvaldsen was the first internationally acclaimed Danish artist. He executed sculptures of mythological and religious themed characters. Here are the famous artworks made by Thorvaldsen. This artwork is called Christ, a marble sculpture image of resurrected Christ currently located at the Thorvaldsen Museum. He also sculptured Lion of Lucerne, a sculpture of a dying lion in Lucerne, Switzerland that commemorates the Swiss guards who were massacred in 1792 during the French Revolution. Now that we're done with our discussion, let's have an activity. This activity is called Human Sculpture. So here's what you are going to do in your activity. Remake a neoclassical sculpture by Antonio Hanova or Bertel Thorvaldsen by taking a pose like one. You can use things found at home as props to make your human sculpture. If the sculpture you wish to recreate has two or more subjects, ask for the participation of your family members to make it more fun. You can also search for more Canova and Thorvaldsen sculpture to imitate from. Remember to portray the emotion the sculpture is also trying to convey. Strictly no imitation of nude or undressed sculptures. Here are the criteria on how you will be graded for your activity. So we have quality of work, visual impact, punctuality, and neatness. Good luck! Now, let's have a wrap-up activity. Fill the sculpture below with words that best describe neoclassical sculptures by either writing using different calligraphy strokes or cut out pieces of old magazines and paste them inside the word art. Now, for this activity, answer the following questions for you to deeply understand today's lesson. 1. Do sculptures play an important role in history? How? 2. How do you show your appreciation to the sculptures you see around you? 3. Do you consider sculptors geniuses of their own craft? 4. Are you familiar with the iconic Cupid statue the oblation sculptured by our very own Guillermo Tolentino? What do you think is the message of the iconic statue? To end this module, let's have our post test. Choose the letter with the correct answer. 1. The neoclassical sculptures aims at conveying moral message given below except A. Heroism B. Love C. Patriotism D. Virtue Very good! The correct answer is B. Love. 2. He was the first internationally acclaimed Danish artist who executed sculptures of mythological and religious themed characters. A. Antonio Canova B. Bertel Thorvaldsen C. Guillermo Tolentino D. Francois Rude The correct answer is B. Bertel Thorvaldsen. 3. The subject of the neoclassical sculpture are stated below except A. Contemporary personage B. Heroes of the past C. Mythological and religious figures D. Everyday life scenes Good job! The correct answer is D. Everyday life scene. 4. 
He was a prolific Italian artist and sculptor who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. A. Antonio Canova B. Bertel Thorvaldsen C. Guillermo Tolentino D. Francois Rude The correct answer is A. Antonio Canova. Very good. 5. They were the inspiration of neoclassical sculptures. A. Ancient Egyptians B. Prehistoric men C. Romans D. Greeks Wow, that's right. The correct answer is C. Romance. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Thank you for listening. Bye!